If Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower, the planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> The wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it. As Phoenix continued her journey, she couldn't help but wonder if her story would one day be told amongst the stars. Hermes always says, the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clea once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night.
Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again, Icarus. And these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too, all these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that. What it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartaros. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill Icarus! Daedalus' faulty wings did that! And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out. Eventually. Preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Damn. Not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thief! You thought you could escape me? It's a problem! Tree delivery boy! You do not deserve the crown you were given! We'll take you down, Typhon! Just like before! We? <laughs> there is no we! Not anymore! Phoenix! Now! Open your wings! I can't! I have you now! You have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus's wings. The Daedalus? The great inventor? So? So they didn't work right and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes! I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jod thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that... Hermes disappeared. 
phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to her true destiny lay stretched out before her. Wait! That was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus made it home faster. She's about to jump. Be quiet and listen. Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on?
Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Slavery to principles. I think we actually stand a chance against Typhon. Food with The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. This is... incredible! It's alright. Could use some updating. The color motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. 
Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain where he could do no more harm. I've got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble! Devour! And turn this life false gods to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Bow to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final, desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed. And so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost... So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. <sighs> this is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck. I'll be right here doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably... Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. Oh! 
Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Let me know if you're in the market for anything. the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh. Still better than visiting the dentist. Sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? <sighs> uh. 
This is where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. Wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelix and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No!
Phoenix stumbled upon a winged... As Phoenix freed the small creature imprisoned on the isle, she let out a cry. Which meant, great hero, I am but a piece of Nike, the goddess of victory. Please free the others, so I may return to my full glory. They won't win without Nike. She's like a glove or a, a thing you wear that protects you while running. A helmet. So, what is it? Phoenix would need to free it to find out. Yeah, but you can tell me now. Can you please respect my narrative pacing? Valley of Eternal Spring. Its highlights include a massive tree that reaches up to the heavens. The Hall of the Gods. Eros's Palace. Oh, I'm glad he finally got his happy ending. And a palace belonging to the Goddess of Beauty herself. Of course, Aphrodite would claim the prime real estate with the best view. As long as she's safe from prying eyes, I'm happy. From such great heights, a fluttering of birds, feeding from the most beautiful apple tree, caught Phoenix's eye. Phoenix was about as high as I was when I thought marrying Aphrodite off to Hephaestus would stop the other gods from fighting over her. Yes, that view from Mount Olympus is something else. I haven't seen it in years. You're not getting that high again, so stop asking! <laughs> 